former defense minister and three-time chief minister of Goa, Manohar Parikar, Prime Minister Modi joins thousands in paying his last respects. The unfortunate reality of politics, Parikar's death sparks a crisis in Goa. Congress and BJP fight for the chief minister's chair. The BJP delays a swearing-in of the next chief minister. The Congress claims majority. Priyanka Gandhi Vadra kicks off a much-awaited campaign in Uttar Pradesh with a boat ride. Challenging Modi on his home turf, she says, only the rich have chaukidars in India. The Congress is sailing alone in Uttar Pradesh, snubbed by the Bhim army. Now even Mayavati and Akhilesh Yadav reject the Congress offer of seven seats. And Hyderabad's five-brand leader, Asaduddin Ovesi, files his nomination paper, seeking a fourth term from his home state. Welcome to a brand new edition of India Election Watch, the only show that serves the latest on the electoral scene in India without any twists and spins, clear updates, precise numbers, simple analysis. I'm Palki Sharma Upadhyay and today we begin with a tribute to the man who showed India how to keep going against odds. How is the Josh? How is the Josh? That was Manohar Parikar back in January this year. Last night, the Chief Minister of Goa and India's former Defence Minister lost his battle with cancer. He passed away at his home in Goa at the age of 63. Mr. Parikar was cremated in Goa today. Senior leaders of the BJP attended his funeral, including Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Parikar was fighting pancreatic cancer for more than a year now. In his recent public appearances, he was visibly weak was ferried by his doctor on a wheelchair and was seen wearing a tube. But even in his last days, Manohar Parikar did not slow down. He was the chief minister of Goa for three terms and served as the defense minister of India from 2014 to 2017. It was during this time that India conducted surgical strikes against Pakistan post the Pathan Court terrorist attack. Known for his quick decision making, Manohar Parikar was sent back to Goa in 2017 when the assembly election resulted in a divided house. He led a coalition government in the state for nearly two years. Even as one of the prominent faces of the BJP, Mr. Parikar still led a simple life. He wore half-sleeved t-shirts, half-sleeved shirts, and he preferred to go around Goa on a scooter. Even as a unit minister, he stood in queues and traveled in the economy class. But Manohar Parikar's death has sparked a political crisis in his state. Hours after his death, the Congress staked claim to form a government in Goa. They say that the majority is on their side. Congress members, in fact, met with the governor to stake claim. All 14 MLAs, led by the leader of the opposition, went to the Raj Bhavan. They handed over a letter to the governor claiming that they are the single largest party. The BJP is in no mood to give up power. They are looking to install their own chief minister in the state. We are told that Pramod Savan, the current speaker of the Goa Assembly, is the front runner. The BJP is still working to build consensus on his name among allies. The cliffhanger continues. 